let's talk about how you get your equipment and how you put your equipment away. Behind me, you can see different ways that we have our equipment up here. We have a cone with hula hoops around it, have a cart with basketballs, a crate with some yarn balls, a bucket with the volleyballs, and then another cart over there with all our salty balls. When we pass out the equipment, we may have you come up in groups. We may say if you're a boy or if you're a girl or if you have brown hair or if you have a gray shirt on. However we say that, then that group would come up and get whatever equipment that we are playing with that day. So if it's the volleyballs, you come and get a volleyball. If you're wearing jeans, come and get a basketball. Sometimes Coach Clapp and I, to make things go faster, we may just hand the equipment out to you. And the important thing to remember is we're just going to grab whatever equipment we have because it takes less time. So if we give you a ball and you don't like that color, the thing you can do is maybe try to uh, ask a friend maybe to switch the balls with you. But it works best if you don't ask us to get a specific piece of equipment out because if it's all the way at the bottom, we're not going to dig for it. Also, whenever you get that equipment, make sure you take it back to your home base square and you sit down and put the ball on the ground so that way you're not playing with it. Don't get the ball and start throwing it and running around with it or letting it roll around on the ground and you have to go chase it. When it's time to put the equipment away, everybody's going to be sitting down, everybody's going to get a chance to clean up. But things that we want to make sure that we don't do, when it is time to clean up, just walk up here and put the equipment away. Set it down in the bucket or put the hula hoop over the cone. Don't throw the ball, because when you do that, somebody could get hurt. Usually Coach Clapp and I are standing up here, and we don't want all these basketballs and other balls to come flying at us. And nobody else wants that either. Also, as you are cleaning up, and this is a big important thing, if somebody has something in their hand and they're going to put it away, you shouldn't grab it from them and try to take it and get as much stuff as you can. So take whatever it is that you're cleaning up, put it away, and then you can go back to your home base square and we'll wait for everybody else to get it cleaned up. When everything's cleaned up, then it's time for us to line up and head on back to class.